the Ukrainian military fighting the much larger Russian invasion force has been able to kill hundreds of Russian tanks and armored vehicles using a handheld anti-tank missile supplied by the US, according to US journalists who has been tracking the war in the East European nation. At least 280 Russian armored vehicles have been destroyed with the American Javelin missile out of 300 shots fired, journalist Jack Murphy said in an article quoting a special operations official. That is a 93% kill rate. The Javelin, made jointly by Raytheon missiles and defense, and Lockheed Martin follow a flight path that hits targets from the top, where the armor is relatively weaker. Almost every tank armor is thicker on the sides, but the top is known to be weaker, and that is where the Javelin missile strikes. The Javelin can also be fired in a straight flight path mode, if needed. The first shipment of Javelins arrived in Ukraine in 2018. The weapon systems, along with that raining and sustainment block, called the total package approach totaling somewhere around $75 million. As the Russians learned that Ukraine now had Javelins, their T-72 tanks in Donbas became less aggressive and pulled further back from the front lines, he said, quoting the US military official. A single soldier can carry and operate the Javelin, though more hands would be needed to carry extra orange tubes. When Russian armored columns entered urban areas in Ukraine, their tanks became more vulnerable to javelin hits if they didn't have infantry support. Ukrainian forces equipped with javelins would hide and move quicker, as they didn't have a chance in a direct tank versus tank fight on open ground because of the sheer numbers the Russians have. However, the numbers of tanks skilled by Ukrainian soldiers, with the javelin or other anti-tank weapons, are difficult to take seriously. Mostly appearing on social media, these numbers are likely to be exaggerated by the Ukrainians and downplayed by the Russians. The usual fog of war makes it even more difficult to ascertain accurate numbers. Three days after the Russian invasion started in Ukraine, US President Joe Biden had instructed the US State Department to release up to an additional $350 million worth of weapons from US stocks to Ukraine, which had been asking for the anti-tank javelin and anti-aircraft Stinger missiles. Vladimir Putin's troops have been stuck in a poorly planned 40 miles long traffic jam as tanks and heavy weaponry have failed to move ahead towards the Ukrainian capital Kyiv for days. And now it is set to be hit with a new challenge. A cold snap is set to plunge Ukraine into freezing temperatures with forecasters predicting the next few days could drop to a frosty minus 10 cc with snowfall. However, on Wednesday the Eastern European nation could see temperatures plummet even further to minus 20 cc bringing new difficulties to the Russian army's 40 miles long armored military convoy as well as displaced Ukrainians attempting to flee their war-torn homes. The 40 mile convoy is set to be around 19 miles away from the center of Kyiv, but has barely moved after running into logistical difficulties days ago. The large military convoy, which was first photographed on February 28th with satellite images released by Maxer Technologies, has an advance beyond Hostomol near Antonov Airport. A senior US defense official has said, the new freezing temperatures will likely make any progress even more challenging. Glenn Grant, a senior defense expert at the Baltic Security Foundation, has stated Russian troops may be forced to flee as the tanks will act as huge refrigerators if the engine is not running as the temperature dips. He told Newsweek, a metal tank is just a fridge at night if you are not running the engine. Mr. Grant, who advised Ukraine on its military reform, stated the boys Russian troops won't wait, they will get out, start walking to the forest, and give themselves up to avoid freezing to death. He continued, 